Hello, in this video, we're going to be talking about the tRNA molecule, so let's not waste any of your time. Let's get right to it. Now, when we're talking tRNA molecules, uh, what we want to think about is, as I mentioned in an earlier video, that the tRNA molecule is kind of like a uh, amino acid carrier. It is out there in the cytoplasm, and it's it it is coded for a particular amino acid. And when it finds it, comes across it. It basically latches onto it, and its job is to get it to the RNA strand and put it on there at the appropriate place. So when you're looking at a codon, uh, say you've got uh, ACG. Okay, ACG, as we've already talked about, codes for a specific enzyme. I mean, a, amino acid, I'm sorry, a specific amino acid. And when that's, that particular codon is there, then the appropriate uh, amino acid is brought in and placed on that RNA or yeah against that RNA strand, and it's you know uh, so it's, so if the codon is on the RNA strand, then the anticodon is what's called in the amino acid uh, chain. So you got your codon on the RNA strand, a set of three nucleotides. And then the matching amino acid is placed uh, in that string, and that's called an anticodon or the opposite, you know, associated codon. Uh, but the placing of the amino acid in the right spot is is kind of a two two person team. The tRNA brings it, and the amino cell uh, tRNA places it on uh, the RNA strand. Uh, and then, of course, it'll come along, something will come along, an enzyme, and bind those together and make a long string. And we'll see a picture of that string uh, when we're talking about uh, transcription here in, in the next video. Let me see. I, I'm going to talk about something next. No, I don't see it up there. Okay, now a modification that is done to the uh, tRNA strands, the tRNA uh, yeah, strands, is a process called methylization. And methylization is, is the idea of taking a carbon and then three hydrogen atoms, that's, forms, that's methane gas, uh, hence the name. Uh, but what that does when that molecule is added to the tRNA, it stabilizes it or regulates the process, which means it makes it work more efficiently uh, than without that uh, molecule. So that's added to it. And just think about it from a logical standpoint. If there are 20 amino acids, then guess how many different tRNAs there are? 20, because they're each specific to a amino acid. It's not like the tRNA molecule is just going to get in any amino acid it can find, uh, it is going after a specific one. It'd be the same if you think about a, a piano keys. If that was the RNA strand, each one of the keys was a nucleotide, then every set of three keys would be a codon, and that codon would uh, select for a particular amino acid. So if we, made, if we read those piano keys, uh, then when we would we would make those like set of three, then that particular tRNA, that specific tRNA molecule, uh, brings in its amino acid and then it's placed uh, on the RNA strand as an anticodon. Well, that's our video over tRNA molecules. When we come back next time, we're going to be talking about ribosomes. So we'll see you then.